We're taking the van, we're heading north, and we're going up to Canada. For the next 96 hours, my buddy Will and I will be living out of his van, exploring a variety of rivers in the Canadian Rockies. Heard incredible views out here. This region is home to some of the most breathtaking scenery in the world, as well as my two favorite freshwater fish. This is what I came here for. Bring it, baby! Years back, Will and I connected through our fly fishing films. He is an extremely talented filmmaker and my go-to buddy for any DIY fishing trip. Oh, oh, there we go. I would not want to be a cutthroat in this river. If we've learned anything from our adventures in the past, it's that nothing ever goes as planned. Oh my God. <laughs> I have no idea what's coming. While we had a few rivers in mind to fish, we wanted to be flexible and see where the week took us. There we go. I think we have struck gold with this creek. The best part of any fishing trip is exploring the unknown. And we had no idea what Canada had in store for us this week. Oh, dude, we had the GoPro. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, that's good. <laughs> I love I saw it. saw my dead shirt. You love it, dude. Back with the man, the myth, the legend. Got my boy Phelps here. Yeah, buddy. And behind us, we've got a new little toy of yours. <laughs> it's not that little. It's going to be bigger <laughs> later this fall. My initial plan was like, all right, I'm going to spend all summer building this thing out. Super stoked on this van. It's a blank canvas. Got so much potential. And ever since then, we've just been taking it fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't done too much with the as far as modifications and and there's still a lot left to do. Right now, it's just basically an enclosed space to to go fishing. To go fishing. And there's just so, the point. There's yeah, Erica. There's Erica. <laughs> this is kind of a last minute trip. We knew we wanted to do something this summer, but we didn't know what it was. We said we found a week that aligned for both of us. And so we're taking the van, we're heading north, and we're going up to Canada. Under here on the cot, we got the bottom bunk, and then we got the top bunk. I'm gonna be up here with Tally. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, there's really not much to it. So both of us have been up to Canada on separate occasions, uh, but it's been a few years for me, and the last time I was there, I caught my personal best bull trout, which completely ruined me, and <laughs> made bull trout my new favorite freshwater species to target. We're gonna try to find some bullies, some cutties, Maybe some bows. Maybe we'll some see. browns. Yeah, maybe some browns. Yeah, we'll leave our options open. Maybe some whiteies too. Some I whiteies. Some big whiteies. Gotta stick up there. some whiteies. Day one, we got into a whitefish. We linked up, packed up the van, got everything ready to go, and hit the road. Before we head up to Canada, we're gonna stop by our buddy Connors. He used to work at a Golden Fly shop there in Colorado. And uh, he's been fishing up that way. And he's got, he said he's got some, some flies for us and a little bit of intel. So, go chat with him before heading up there. Let's see what the juice is all about. Okay, cool. Sweet. What's up, boys? What's going on, Gail? Good to see you. Waylon, Waylon, you saying hi? Oh, hello. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. What's your name? Will. Will Dylan. Dylan, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's up, bud? There's a the man. Oh, shit. What's up, bro? Good to see you. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? Good. I like the place, man. Yeah, dude. Welcome. So there's basically one thing that Dylan and I will definitely, like, share as, like, a little bit of guidance is, and I'm sure Will knows, obviously. It's like you want the same, I mean, you, there's a commonality, right? Big and white, 
okay? But the difference is weight, right? So especially depending on the line you're throwing, you know, each of those holes, it's not like you're getting some, you know, cutty that's like, oh, I'm not eating that or whatever. But, you know, you want different weights, right? So like really heavy, medium, light, and then depending on the line you're throwing. Um, Cause that makes a big difference, right? Especially for like what type of water you're fishing and yeah, exactly. where they are maybe in the water column. Yep. Are, are you finding most of them are sitting down pretty deep though? Just most like of the time on the, on the bottom? Yeah. Today I found some in some riffles, but you know, for the most part it was in like the deeper stuff for sure. After getting some intel and flies from the boys, we headed north to the Canadian border. We have made it to the Canadian border, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope our passports work. Well, they believed us that our passports were real and we made it through. <laughs> yeah, we made it. We crossed the border. It is now 11 17 p.m. And yeah, we just got to go find a place to camp. We will see you guys in the morning. Pulling up to the holy grail of breakfast foods. The one place that we have to go do and get some food while we're in Canada. And it's quite obvious it's Timmy Hortons. After you, oh, sir. Thank you. <laughs> one thing that this kind of held me back from going to BC's, like the permitting system is a little bit more challenging than Alberta. In BC, you have to get your provincial license, first of all, and then your classified waters permit is a separate permit that you have to get on top of your provincial license. And that is for the specific river that you're gonna fish. To get a good understanding of the permitting system, I would totally recommend going to a shop, talk to someone that knows something about it, or talk to a local, get some get some knowledge from someone that, that knows what they're talking about, because you don't wanna make mistakes. We just stopped in to the fly shop. We picked up our licenses and permits. We're just getting the boat ready, and we're gonna hit the river. Never brought my boat up here and I've always wanted to. Fishing ground boats always a little more casual than walk wading. It was nice to start out easy. Well, about to push off the launch here. Yeah, bud, good fish. Let's go. Let's go, Scotty. This looks like dead water here. Let me get a little closer to the, get my fly a little closer to the bank. There it is. There it is. These? Yeah, it's a good fish. Yeah. Oh, oh. dude. Damn it. That was a hard angle, though. Oh, yeah, this is it. Look at that perfect riffle drop on the inside bend. Oh, yeah, bud. Oh, yeah. That's the goods. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, dude. That was a nice fish, bro. Oh. <laughs> that was a nice fish. sick. All right, I'm going to go down with it. Yo, Scotty. Dude. Let's go. Let's freaking go. He's just in that current. Dude, oh. did you see that head come out? Oh my gosh. Yeah, Got it. yeah, dude. Nice cutty. Good. Dude, that's a good one. Oh. That's nice. nice. A lot of current. Nice fish, dude. Sick. Well, that really got the juices flowing. It is game time, bud. Game time. This little inside seam looks pretty decent. Broke me off! Oh no! Good fish. That was a good one. Let's let's take a break. We'll re-reg. Dude, that was a nice, really a, good fish. Really good fish. We could always recircuit too and, and go up this. Yeah. And hit that bank yeah. Again. Run a lap. Yeah.
really tight on the tank. There it is. Oh yeah, first Canadian fish for this trip for me. Tally, leave it, leave it. And the barbless, a little dry, pop it out. Tally, no, stay. Kind of the same size we've been catching. Like kind of a cookie cutter size for this river. Like. <laughs> Tally, leave it. <laughs> Tally, come on. It's weird, we got like uh, sun over there hitting us, but then behind us, the wind is really starting to pick up and looks like a storm starting to move in see up in the mountains back here too. Something's a brewing. Is that thunder? Yeah. We may want to accept our fate here. Fishing's kind of slowed down, it's weird. Sometimes you think the storm makes the fishing better. Sometimes you make you think the storm kind of shuts it off. Right now it seems like the best cutty fishing was this morning and then that's kind of dying off. So maybe it's a sign to switch back to the streamers. I mean, this is where a big cutty or bully would be sitting. I know, man. Freaking anything big. This is the zone. Ooh! That's yeah. A fish. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Called that one. Nice, dude. nice, dude. Let's go. Good Canadian cutthroat. Healthy release. Good stuff, dude. He's chilling right there. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Dude, nice fish. Nice. Nice. You got a good one. I was like looking down and I saw the clouds. I was like, that's not gonna hit us. You don't think that's coming for us, do you? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> sure hope not, man. See him? See him up again. Where? You see the root ball on the bank? The yeah. Roots under the log. Literally directly under the log. Yeah, yeah. I'm in there super, super tight. You might see me out here. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> under the tree. Oh, that was good spot. on the strip. Oh, that's Cuddy, baby. Dude, is that a bully? Dude, it's, it's a, a bully. It's a baby yeah, bull. It's our first bully of the trip. First bull. <laughs> on the drive. Oh my gosh, look at him. <laughs> we did what we came here to do, boys and girls. We've tagged two native native species now. Dude, Little guy. So pretty. They are pretty. See you guy. About midway through the day, we start seeing some clouds roll in, and uh, we're like, ooh, it's getting like streamery weather. And these clouds roll in, it starts raining on us. Wow, this is no joke. Oh yeah, oh, yeah good. oh no, oh. come on. And then, hail. Oh sh dude. Yeah. <laughs> this is... Ow, that hurt. Oh, Dude, oh. Oh, Oh, It hit us so hard. Oh, my God. Oh, Dude. Holy And then when we got out of the boat to run to shore, I saw Tally's dog bed in the back. 
So I grabbed that, and it's like basically a mini trampoline kind of thing. So it deflected. We used that as a shield and put it over our heads and just tucked into the bushes. Holy oh, This is... I've never experienced this. Oh, oh. Here's Ow. Holy oh. What the hell? Dude, I'm like shaking. I've literally never experienced anything like this. Oh my gosh. That's oh. like... <laughs> Ow. Oh, I just hit me. <laughs> hey, Kelly. Here. Oh. I was like trying to use a net. Dude, I know it came in so hot. Oh my god, that is absurd. Ooh. It was crazy after that hailstorm hit us. I remember just how cold it was. And I remember being we you and I have kind of both looked at each other like, it's streamer time. Let's let's throw we've got some cut there. Let's throw the streamer. Bugs are coming off again. Oh, that was a bully. That was a bully. I saw it. Oh, you saw it? Yeah. He might come back for it. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Dude! You, I saw the. You see him eat it? Yeah. Oh, damn it, dude. He ate it twice, too. We're in I... the zone, Scotty. Let's go. We've been fishing the bank pretty hard. And I just missed like three or four bullies <laughs> in a row, like big fish. Fingers crossed. We can get one before the boat ramp. Oh, oh. yeah. Yes, Scotty. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, dude. Let's go. Is it a boy or a big cat? I can't tell yet. Damn, they fight, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh. Are you going to hand me that? Oh, God. Yep. Yes. First bully of the trip. Real bully, I should say. That was epic, especially after the rainstorm and everything and seeing all the eats and it was definitely a build up to that fish and yeah, seeing you stick that thing and just being on the oars was, that got us stoked. That was a great way to cap off an already awesome day of fly fishing. You guys want to see how much it rained today? <laughs> My drip boat is full of water right now. <laughs> a little bit of rain, a little bit of hail. <laughs> it's freaking nuking. We got nuked. That was a great way to end it. Good, good first day. I feel like we've got about four days up here, so we're just kind of getting things figured out. We wanted to get the boat in the water to start out, and uh, solid first day. We are honestly still really wet cold so we're gonna go into town find some food get dry and they're gonna head to a different river and we're gonna go camp over in that region tonight so yeah we'll see you guys in a bit I love pulling into a campsite in the dark and not really knowing what's around you. And then you wake up and you just feel like you're in BC. You're like, wow, this is what I came here for. Well, as I run back to the van after getting the shot, we're heading to the river and it's gonna be a streamer day. We are committing to the head hunt this morning. 
Yeah, that's how it was last time I was here, man. Wow, that's so cool, though. Yeah, the river's looking a little salty. This is how it looked last time I was here, and I didn't catch anything. So, I don't know what to think about it. They don't know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> they have no idea what's coming. But we just parked here, and essentially we are just gonna work downstream. And I'm stoked, dude. I'm ready to just go. We need to we need to stop talking to this camera and get out. It's go, go time, baby. <laughs> it's go time, dude. Let's hit it. One of the things why I'm at least so drawn to bull trout is they are like the predatory fish of North America. We're fishing for them in their native range. Like they've been here forever and they're just a super elusive, <clears throat> badass predatory fish. Something cool about fishing for a fish that's so old. So let's see if we can find them. We made it to the river. As you can see, it's a little salty. Whoa. I think we're just gonna run these GoPros and just kind of split up and fish while it's early before it gets too hot. Yeah, I'm really liking the vibe right now. This river's looking sweet. It's a cool area, there's no one around. And I don't know, the mystery is still out there. We'll have to see if we can make something happen. I mean, don't really know yet. That's time to fish. Time to fish, dude. It is time to fish. <laughs> Oh, yep. Oh, got one. <laughs> Damn, that was close, dude. Bully. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, dude. Dude, I was stripping it back, and uh, he ate it. I mean, he ate it like probably 20 feet in front of me. God. Not a bad start, dude. Yeah, bud. Gosh, what, a, what an awesome specimen, dude. Nice work, bro. Nice work. See you, bud. Let's go, dude! Oh my god, that was so sick! Well done. Dude, did not take long at all. Yeah, sometimes it's a bad spell when you catch a fish right off the bat. But it wasn't the case this time around, thankfully. Alright, bullies. Where are you at? There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, buddy. This is a good one. Will's got one. Get him on the reel, dude. Bro, big one, big one. 